High-speed rail has arrived in Scotland, virtually. Researchers at Heriot Watt University in Edinburgh are testing how years of pounding by high-speed trains will affect the track. Our science correspondent Kenneth MacDonald has this report. France led the way in Europe. Japan has had them for even longer. But so far, London is as close as high-speed trains have got to Scotland. In a laboratory in the outskirts of Edinburgh, they're aiming to change that. So what we have is we have a, a structure here. You can see the, the stanchions coming up. We have a bed. For now, you need to use your imagination a bit. So what's going to happen here over the next few weeks is that, in effect, they'll be building a railway line. There will be tons of clay to make up the subgrade. Then the ballast will go on top, and then the sleepers. And when it's ready, the pummeling begins. Each one of these pistons is rated up to 20 tonnes. So we have six cylinders here, so that's about 120 tonnes of force going through at a very, very fast cyclic rate. You can't have high-speed trains without high-speed track. The big idea here is to mimic the stresses suffered by that track over decades in double-quick time. This new facility is the largest facility of its type in the UK, which can simulate many years' worth of railway loading, literally within a few weeks. So what we can do is we can put into new tracks, we can simulate things like ballasted tracks, we can simulate concrete slab track. The next step, simulating not just high speed but ultra speed trains, 250 miles an hour plus. This is what this facility is all about. It's being able to put very, very high powered hydraulics through the cylinders to actually look at the track behavior. So we can literally have a speed, a train at almost any speed in this, in this facility looking at how it interacts with the ground. Real high-speed trains aren't expected in Scotland before 2024, but Heriot Water, hoping their centre of excellence could accelerate the process. So what does this mean? It means that, in effect, in a few weeks, high-speed rail will have arrived in Scotland. We will have to wait just a little longer for the trains, though. Kenneth MacDonald, reporting Scotland, Edinburgh.